Hello and welcome everyone, I am Manic Mank. This is RimWorld. Uh, RimWorld is a space colony survival build management game uh, that I'm quite fond of. I've played a bit of it um, and thought, well, let's let's start recording something new, do something different. Uh, so we're going to play. We're going to start off with a new colony. Um, now you can have different scenarios. You can create your own scenarios or Steam Workshop scenarios. Uh, but I'm actually just going to go with just the basic scenario here, Crash Landed, um, which is essentially three people escape uh, a, a crashing spaceship. Um, you get a little bit of stuff to start off with, not a whole lot. Um, and let us begin. So you can, uh, RimWorld has sort of a, I guess it's called a dynamic storyteller um, that sort of creates different stories for you as... Uh, as as your time goes by, depending on how well or how poorly you're doing, um, there's three different ones. There's Cassandra Classic, which is just in, you know increases in difficulty. There's Phoebe Chillax, which is more relax and build bases, uh, and then there's Randy Random, which is just sort of uh, random events, um, no real rhyme or reason to it. There's also different different difficulties. Uh, I'm going to play rough. Um, not going to put on permadeath. Permadeath is just Iron Man mode, essentially, so you can't reload, and given recording and possible problems, I would prefer to have saves that work. So, what seat are we going to use? I think YouTube. Um, a decently sized, decently sized planet called YouTube. So this is YouTube. Welcome. Um, now where do we want to go? I'm thinking... So there's different options, obviously. You can go way up north into the frozen wastes. You can go in the deserts here. Uh, or you can go in sort of the grasslands. There's also shrubland, which is not good. Now you are... Steadiness is Valley, and you are Deadbeat Gang. So pirates. Um, I prefer to stay away from pirates. Uh, marble, limestone, year-round growing season. Winter temperature, 8 degrees Celsius. Average summer, 26. That is not bad. Um, I do want to stick somewhere where there is... Uh, some mountains to be able to actually mine some stuff, as well as some decent temperatures. Somewhere around here. And you can, of course, just hit random and, you know, go for it, but... You can sort of also choose where you want to deploy. I'm going to say here. So we're going to deploy right here. Uh, and let's select. Okay, so this is our... Who do we want to... Who do we want to bring with us? Um, there are, in this scenario, you get three people to come with, uh, so you can sort of figure out who you want to, who you want to bring. Now, um, I have mixed feelings about this. So, so my opinion is, I don't like people who are incapable of things, um, mostly because. Well, in the very beginning, if you bring people who are incapable of things, uh, that makes it harder. You know, if you have one person who's capable of cooking, well, that one person has to be the cook. Nobody else can carry it off. And when you start off your colony, you kind of need everything going on. Um, so things that I care about. Um, I care about growing. I want to get growing to eight. I want to have at least a level eight growing person because that allows us to, or at least seven or six or something close to it because that allows us to make... Uh, herbal medicine. Um, I like somebody who's decent or enjoys researching 
because researching is a big part of advancing your, your game. Uh, and somebody who's decent with shooting, because we need to be able to shoot people um, when they come to, to try and eat us. Um, now, you have really good growing, but you're incapable of dumb labor, which is moving things, cleaning, um, basically doing a lot of the maintenance work around the area, crafting. Um, you're incapable of crafting and cooking, which means you're sort of a big three ones. I don't really like having incapable of stuff. Um, you are deaf. I don't prefer to avoid somebody with a lot of health issues as well. Um, actually, you are pretty good. Um, and I like this because you have good medicine. Um, and medicine obviously is, is an important being able to heal people. You also have decent shooting and you enjoy shooting. So let's see if I can't get... And you are pretty decent in a lot of things. Trying to see if I can't snag somebody with good growing and good... Good the rest of their stats as well. Um... See, like, this guy would be useless. He's incapable of intellectual, social, and caring. So he's capable of doing a lot of things, essentially. Um, you are great at shooting, but terrible at everything else. Um, incapable of violent, you would be good, but again, we need sort of everybody to be able to fight at the beginning. Uh, it is an important important trait to have. Capable of intellectual, so you're incapable of research, you're incapable of scary. Um, I don't like that you're a psychopath and psychically sensitive, but you have good growing. And good shooting, so everybody's pretty decent at everything going on. Um, he's the only person with good medicine, but that's okay. I think we're going to go with these people. So Chris the surgeon, NG the engineer, and Stanislav the oaf. Um, let, us, let us begin. And you can sort of pick things around. You can sort of change how you want people to show up, um, how how you you know what sort of skills people have. I have a mod that allows you to, I guess, prepare carefully so you can actually change individual stats about people. So three of you awake in your crypt to sleep sarcophagi and to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown planet. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, start making plans to survive. There are our colonists. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is take a look around. Um, pretty good area. Pretty mountainous. Um, I like that. Uh, mountains are good to be able to build sort of natural defenses into. Um, now what do we have? We have a pistol, a rifle, some food, some components, some silver a knife, some wood, some steel, some medicine, um, anything else scattered around outside on the fringes of our area right now. A group of muffalo, which if we could tame them that would be cool. We have jade. Huh. I don't think I've ever seen jade before. Um, a bit concerning. There is a, a hidden room there. There's also some ship chunks, which we'll be able to tear apart for some resources. The um, reason why hidden rooms, sometimes they're fine, sometimes they're empty, sometimes they're filled with monsters. Um, horrible, horrible monsters that kill you on sight. Um, 
So I'm hoping that it's not that. So let's set up what we need to set up. Um, so first things first, we need a shelter. Uh, let's go. As it went to five, five by five shelter. That should be fine to start off with. Let's make a door there. Uh, and then furniture, I also want, let's get three wooden beds in here. So we have something to start off with. Now, um, actually, what I'm gonna do, just briefly pause here. Um, who is good with what? So shooting is eight, shooting is five, shooting is seven. So Stanislav, you get the survival rifle, you get the pistol, you get the knife. We also have a Yorkshire Terrier, um, which we should train. Get some guns. Um, I don't need to do that. Let me do that. So we are we should be building a room. Let's actually set everybody on some of the basic priorities here for now. Um, hall, clean, craft. Um, and people are puking because they actually have crypto sleep sickness. Um, which is, uh, of course, sickness that you get after waking from crypto sleep sometimes. Uh, other things. Orders. I want to harvest. I see some berry bushes. I'd like to harvest anything that is ripe right now so we can get some food. And get some more food going. I don't want to rely solely on our uh, survival meals. Now, the other thing that we want to set up, we want to set up a dumping stockpile, um, which I'm just going to put over here. That's to dump stuff that we don't want. And here is an actual stockpile to put things that we do want to keep. Now, the other thing, and this is going to be important, is we need to start setting up growing zones. So, um, yep, potatoes seem good. Uh, let's go cotton. I want some cotton as well for some clothes. I need some heel root. That's going to be important. Uh, and another growing zone here for, we'll say, corn. That should provide us with a decent selection of food. Uh, once we start growing. These guys are cutting down these trees to make us a home. Okay, great. Okay, so we have an indoor area right now, which is awesome. Uh, we also have, I'm just going to say, cut plants in here. Thank you. Um, so we have an indoor area, which is nice. So our, our, we have a shelter for us. Um, now, what else do we need? Um, I'm thinking. So we have this stuff. But we need chunks of spacecraft to fall from space and landed nearby. Okay, so there are some spacecraft chunks around there that I can deconstruct for stuff. Actually, we'll just set you to deconstruct for now. Okay, so next thing that we really need um, is actually another room. Actually, a couple more rooms, probably. Um, so... Growing zones are down here, so I'm going to build rooms over here into the rock because that is I build 
that and then this. Um, and while we build that, uh, actually another thing, I need to chop wood in this area. So this right now is our home, our little home area. You guys are actually breaking these apart for some steel and some components, which is nice. Um, you're not going to hold that back because why would you? Um, what I'm building here is I want to build a food storage or a freezer, I suppose I should say. somewhere to put our food that is not outdoors or put our perishable stuff I suppose I'll say um, stockpile there storage um, so foods manufactured we care about medicines I don't care about components or that I don't care about raw resources because that's all stones items um, store that apparel Body parts, chunks, corpses. Um, I don't want human corpses. I would like animal corpses in here. Okay, so this is all inside, and we can actually... You, no food, no medicine. No corpses. Thank you. And you guys are planting stuff, which is awesome. The sooner we get to planting, the sooner we can get to growing things. Um, I am concerned about the bear living right next to us, but that's... I don't really have much say in that. Now, things that I want to do here, I actually want to set up cooling for this area. Um, which means I also need to set up power. Uh, and... Actually, I guess cancel that. Uh, cancel this. I would like battery and temperature a cooler. Reason why is because a cooler lets us actually set up a freezer. We can freeze our food as opposed to just get rid of it and lose it, um, which is much better. Um, structure. Also going to, on the outside of this, set up another area there. This is going to be our actual crafting area so that we can, well, crafting slash kitchen right now, I think. Um, everybody's asleep. That's fine. Oh, other thing I want to do. Um, furniture. Animal sleeping spot there, so that our Yorkshire Terrier can sleep inside. Uh, other things, I do have a mod here of uh, uh, that shows people's moods just by looking at it, which is I prefer to be honest, um, just because it is useful to useful to have. Now, everyone, right now, everybody work on everything, if you don't mind. Um, I will arrange your priorities later on when we have time. But for now, everybody gets everything. Should have enough wood to build these buildings here, which is battery and cooler. Um, the thing I'm going to do with the cooler is I'm actually going to drop it down to negative one degree. So it shall freeze once we get power going. Awesome power. Um, so, NG, why don't you prioritize hauling berries into the freezer? All medicine, too, if you don't mind. All more.
more berries. Chris, why don't you haul berries as well? Get everything that perishes into the freezer so we don't have to worry about it. Okay, so in this room, um, I'm going to make a short wooden table. And some chairs. I'm also going to start setting up production. So um, we need a butcher's table, an electric stove, uh, and a research bench. Uh, I'm also going to need power dragged over to here, if you don't mind. This is so that people can actually sit down and eat meals inside. That will make them happier. And then also setting up some production so that they can actually... Okay, so... Butcher table, butcher creature, forever. Make kibble, do until we have 15 kibble. Setting orders for these so that we can... Bills, uh, cook simple meal, do until you have... Let's go 20 simple meals. Um, reason for this, again, simple meals give us more food. Um, so right now, the only things that are hooked up to power are the stove and the cooler. This is all frozen. Good. Um, so what else do we want to do? What I would like furniture is a lamp. Just so that we can have some light in that room as well. Ideally get everything planted so that we can start to... Uh, dumping zone I'm actually going to delete. I don't want a dumping zone there. It's another closed building. I don't like closed buildings. They bother me. Um, so zone area, dumping stockpile, there. Uh, I'm going to just Okay, so everybody is now going to go back to sleep. Now, next thing that I want to do, I actually need to start setting up bedrooms for them as well. Um mm -hmm. I wonder Six by six. Six by six. Um, this I do kind of want to even out more. Six by six. Trying to make some bedrooms out of these while I have. The resources too. Or the time too, I suppose. Now, um, this is slightly problematic. I do need more power. Um, actually gonna knock up another solar generator because I think two of them will be enough to keep me powered throughout the day. Go ahead and cook some meals. That's going to be good. Cut down some trees. I think we're okay on resources at the moment. Nothing's been hauled into a stockpile yet, which is 
Chris and Ng have become lovers. That's nice. Um, I can that means I can save them a bed later on. Reason why I do this is I'd like to keep all my my actual places indoors. You know, so that in the event of you know uh, a rabid bear or something or or you know snow or I don't know. Uh, space lightning. I can keep people inside so that they don't have to get killed all the time. Um, visitors. Great Plain people have come to visit us. They also want to trade. That's nice. Um, and useful, too. So who has a high social stat right now? Um, social 1. Social 6. Social 1. So Chris, why don't you go and trade with them? What do they have? They have herbal medicine, insect meats. Um, I'm going to grab the herbal medicine because the herbal medicine is important. Um, any sort of medicine is important, honestly. Um, prioritize hauling herbal medicine inside, please. Thank you. I'm trying to dig out these rooms here so that I can actually put people in them. Um, maybe not the most economical way, probably easier to just build it, or I guess it is the most economical, but not necessarily the most efficient. Um, research, also. Um, stone cutting is important. I would like to get stone cutting on the go, so that we can build stone walls. Um, I want to build stone walls so that I can set up defenses and protect my protect my people as they wander wander around outside. Um, how are we doing with this? That's good. We made it through the night. Awesome. With a bunch of battery power left, which will only continue to grow. Cool. Um, we shall call this Utopia. Welcome to Utopia. Haha. <laughs> ah, pun. So once one bedroom gets constructed, awesome. Um, furniture, double bed here. Uh, structure, door here. Wood door here. Now this is all indoors, and we can make a nice bed. Um, you shall belong to Chris and Angie. Yes. Local raccoon has gone mad. Okay, so let's set everybody's... Fight any animals that attack you. Fight any animals that attack you. Fight any animals that attack you. Chris. There. Okay, so you, let's... Uh, very quickly, no, your reserve there, okay. I don't really want you to start digging these out before the other ones, but... I'm gonna take that and hopefully butcher it. So we have some meat. You're gonna go and cook some meat now, aren't you? This 
This stuff is all growing, which is nice. Um, this is actually resources that we can use. Compacted machinery. Those are uh, components, basically. So I'm happy to have found those for sure. Reinstall down here, please. Uh, and we want a wooden door here and a wooden door here. Okay, so we're doing all right. We've got a decent setup so far. Um, 20. This is. Drop it down to negative two just to make sure. Sleeping spot. Deconstruct. And who are you actually? NG. Okay, so. No furniture, wooden animal sleeping box there. How is everybody's mood doing? Um, your mood looks like it's the worst. Hideous environment, a little pain, rebuffed by NG, desert, disturbed sleep. Okay, so you don't like the fact that your bedroom is made out of rocks. But you know what? <sighs> Too bad right now. Dude, like... You're going to take what you can get, because that's what we've got right now. Uh, you are just relaxing. Okay. aside from finishing these bedrooms. Um, and let's just see, is this set as home? Yeah. Okay. Alright, you guys can... Let's go... Uh, orders. Hall. Haul this crap out of here, if you don't mind. Just because that will help to clean up the bedrooms a bit. And a wanderer has joined. Um, those your name Meskinen has joined. She's a rocket scientist. So what do you do? Um, you are phenomenal at research and capable of violence. If you're capable of violence, drop the knife, or drop the thing, you go equip the pistol. Um, work. Put you to work with everybody else for right now. Uh, we mined into an open area, that's alright. And a party. Um, NG is throwing a party. Awesome. Good job, NG. Party is finished. Okay. Uh, all these things as well. You guys should be able to finish mining this stuff pretty soon, and then go on about the rest of your jobs. Okay, so things that we need to do. Um, hunting. Uh, hunting. Probably going to hunt the ostrich and the bunny. Turkey. Prioritize hauling this turkey in. It's dead, but 
we can use that for food. Thank you. Especially if it is frozen, we can... Uh, Stanislav, why don't you prioritize cleaning some rocks here for a minute? You are sleeping up there. Okay. So we're doing alright so far. Um, furniture. Like to get a couple benches. Um, production. Tailoring bench, uh, I suppose, will be useful. Sculptor's table, not so much right now. Furniture, let's also build another wooden bed in here, because this... I would like to turn into a hospital and prison. So we probably need to chop some more wood. No, we don't. We have plenty of chopped wood set up and ready to go. Um, for that. You are a night owl, so I would actually like to change your schedule. Restrict. So, this can and sleep. Um, let's say do anything. Sleep there for sure. That way, if you're a night owl, you can be awake during the night and you can sleep during the day if you want. We also don't have any clothes for you, which is a pain in the ass, but we will work on it. A raid. Okay, so we have one person with a sandstone club coming to raid us. Uh, I'm just going to keep an eye on them as they come over here. And I will draft everybody when I need to. Now, everybody should have, I guess except for you, because you are incapable of violence. The rest of you, though, should have guns. Closer, coming closer. So let's go. Uh, who has the rifle? Rifle here, Chris here, and G here. And Lynx is coming up this way. Really? Pain in my ass. There. Okay. Unrestrict. Um, Lynx, what do you have? You are actually pretty decent, so... Like somebody to do. Uh, NG, can you... Prioritize working on this, please. Okay, so then, prisoners. Capture links. Now, links, character, health. That's what I need. Um, so I don't want to use any medicine on you. 
but I would like to chat and recruit you, and I would like to perform... Why is this dying? Oh, it's growth rate. Ah, uh, fire. Okay. That is annoying. Um, let us go and put out these fires right away, please. Fix all of this. Um, power. super annoying that that just happened, but... And you know what, we can deconstruct all that then. You will not be for prisoners, you'll just be a medical bed. pods have landed. That is awesome. Let us get those. Okay, so we're going to take a break here uh, and we're going to pick it up next time as we uh, attempt to, I don't know, survive in this in this weird blasted hellscape. So I'm Manic Make. This is RimWorld and we'll see you later. Take care.